first pellet ever through this air rifle. Let's see what we can get. Four hundred twenty six point three feet per second. Do one more. And like I said, these are thirteen point one two grain pellets. And they're wad cutters. Four twenty four point two. Ah, you might as well go for five, right? Error. I'll do one more, and then we'll start the modifications. Four thirty. Okay. Okay, so here I got the JB weld. I'm just going to mix it up quickly. It's a little tiny piece. You don't need much. Just a little tiny hole in the piston. So just mix it up a bit. Then what I'll do is put a little piece on top. To plug the hole. Just like that. And then let's push it into the hole with my finger. And a little more. Done deal. Let that sit now. 24 hours or so. Reassemble. And then we'll test to see what the velocity difference is just from plugging that hole. Turns out I don't have a spring for this air rifle at the moment. I have to order one. So I'll just try this mod first and then we'll see how it works. Thanks. There you go. All done. JB weld. Plugged a little hole. And we'll get the crony test going now. Six seventy seven. Six eighty three. Shooting the same pellets. Uh, Stoger Export 500s. I don't know if you'll see that, but 13.12 grains. Six seventy one. So just plug in the barrel gave us two hundred and fifty feet per second, pretty much. So that's not bad. That was a really easy mod to do. Next, uh, I'm gonna try shimming or preloading the spring a little bit, see if I can get up to like seven fifty or so. Now we'll get back to crony again.